like any sort of routine that I did have has just dropped off because of the holidays. So you know those days where you literally just need to get everything in order. But I just, the thought of going outside right now makes me want to jump off of bed. With breath, you got them. This is very often you guys know that more. Think of the inception. And slowly come back. Excuse my hair, I look like a wet dog. I just had a shower. I went out last night, so I've had about five hours of sleep, which actually isn't that bad. So I'm trying not to waste the day. I've got some orange for, <laughs> it looks so sad. Um, I've got some orange for vitamin and I've had two coffees, so I should be good. I don't have any plans for today, but I kind of want to get out of the house because there's this beautiful weather outside. I thought I'd take you with me on my day, even though at the moment my days are really not um, very structured because I start uni next week. I'm just enjoying my holidays and having absolutely no responsibilities before the university work crushes me. <laughs> thought I'd take you through my morning routine. Uh, that I'm trying to establish because I've completely lost it over the holidays. Also, this orange was really hard to peel. Like, don't judge my orange peeling capabilities. I'm trying to implement 10 to 20 minutes of yoga stretching in the mornings because I am as stiff as a rock. I am going to do some journaling. The journaling process isn't actually that long. I usually split it into three parts. I'm gonna add some raspberries to my porridge and then maybe put some peanut butter in it or I love putting coconut cream in my porridge. I feel like that's a combo that not everybody knows about that should be, uh, to be fair, I put coconut cream in anything. Also, if you're looking for cheap frozen produce, definitely check out Pika. Pika is like a whole shop dedicated to frozen food. Kind of like Iceland and England and you can find some cheap stuff in there. That's where I get a lot of my like frozen spinach because I need to get my iron from somewhere. While I'm having my breakfast, I thought I would talk about what I did yesterday evening. We went to Rouge Pigalle, which was good. I liked the music, which is rare in France. Like it's rare to find a club with really, really good music. And we went there and we stayed until 2 a.m. But we had to move because it closed at 2am because clubs are not meant to be open in France. So then we tried to get into the Carmen, which is notoriously kind of hard to get into, but it was even harder because of COVID. And they were just letting no one in and we were all just stood outside for like half an hour to an hour. And at that point I was just like, I'm going to go home. Obviously on my stories, I'll show Rouge Bigal and not the fact that we were stood outside Carmen afterwards. It just shows that like nights out there's so many downs that you don't see this is like my quick lunch don't judge i'm gonna microwave a sweet potato and then i'll probably just put some like mixture of veggies and beans with it and just eat that i'll show you the end result i know she's not the most beautiful but to me it tastes really good it took me like 10 minutes not even i love it it's not the best mug you've ever seen <laughs> I love it so much. And look how gorgeous it is outside. So I'm definitely gonna go on a hot girl walk. The amount of um, burns I've got from boiling hot water from my tea being spilled on me, ridiculous. I've got so many battle scars. Battle scars. I'm not even joking. Like, these are all burns. It's been so long since I've had burns. I don't know why. And I can just hear them outside. Can you see the Japanese fish down there? It's so pretty. Just peace. And I'm gonna go actually get ready and go out into the big wide world. and brown the birds find warmer ground and every willow finds its pillow waves relinquish sound although the skies turn cold and green good morning it's another beautiful morning um i'm really not bit 
at getting very good at these vlogs. I basically like start the morning off and I can vlog fine. And then it gets to a point where I'm like, um, I don't know, I just keep forgetting. So good morning, good morning. I'm just making my second coffee. Uh, this one's going to be decaf because I do have a like, if I'm going to have multiple coffees, then at least one of them has to be decaf because otherwise I'm literally like a squirrel. <laughs> this is like another mug I thought I'd show you. That was another Christmas present because apparently I looked like the woman on the run. Today I've actually got a plan, which is rare. Anyway, the plan is this morning I'm going to try and sort out my life a little bit and write a plan of all the things that I need to do and get done next week because this is Sunday. I'm going to have lunch and then I'm going to meet a friend at Musée Rodin which is one of my favourite museums in Paris. Like, honestly, I've been there. This is going to be, like, my third or fourth time going. And I love it every single time. There's just something about Rodin's work, which is so, so beautiful, because his sculptures just hold so much emotion in them. Like, all the contortion of the bodies and, like, every chisel. You can really sense his love of art and his love of emotion and passion through his art, through his sculptures. It's really incredible, it's really beautiful. And the building um, in which I held all the sculptures and paintings is also really, really beautiful. So I love going there. And it's in the seventh, so it's like, it's not as well known as like the Louvre or Musée d'Orsay, but honestly worth checking out. so cozy i've got my hot water bottle my tea but i need to go out it's just so cold like i don't want to go out but i'm i'm very excited because i'm going to meet my friend at the train station to help him with his bags so i can go help him but it's just so cold oh my day is not over i was literally just reading um my book had from friends and influence people it is um pretty interesting so far what i'm not looking forward to is going to gaudinov because i hate gaudinov it's basically this big train station in like the north of paris obviously gaudinov train station of the north and like in game of thrones i do not like the north because it basically it's just not a very nice train station like it's so big it's so busy it's where loads of tourists arrive on holidays, so there's loads of pickpockets. It's just not good vibes. Like, it's kind of scary. At night, it's just kind of shady. Like, you just don't feel safe. So I just need to mentally prepare myself and pray I don't get my touch up because I'm, like, jinxy, aren't I? I don't want to get robbed. <laughs> back 
So happy that Carl is back. Um, oh, I might have an early night. I might <clears throat> just read in bed. So it's been quite a nice little Sunday. I'm really enjoying having nothing to do. I've got a week left of holidays and then it's like back into uni mood. And I think next week I'm actually going to have to start working to prepare for this semester. But like, oof. Oof. <laughs>